annoying, difficult, sane things get thrown at us sometimes, it doesn't mean that we are out of a flow state. Everything, and I mean everything, is happening for you. You just have to believe that in your soul, and so it is. Hello loves and welcome to another Crystal Saturday. If this is your first time here, my name is Jenna and I have an online crystal shop called Pretty Crystals where I sell crystals for healing, happiness, harmony, and home decor. So today I have a magical video in store for you. I'm going to tell you all about how you can set a divine intention with your crystal and in turn be able to manifest your dreams in a very, very magical, special way. Before we get into the video, I do want to do our 17 second manifestation method together. If you do not want to do this with me and you want to get straight into the video, feel free to click over here. If you do do this with me every weekend, you know the deal. Just a very quick, easy way to align with your higher self by focusing on the feeling of all of that goodness coming into your life. So I have my Lemurian uh, crystal again, just like last time I have become very fond of this piece and I will be doing my meditation with her. So you know the deal, go get your crystal. So let's start with three deep intentional breaths just to kind of get ourselves centered, get ourselves in receiving mode. This is something that I actually have started doing a lot more whenever I feel myself getting anxious or just like feeling lower vibrational energies. I will just do a deep breath in and out through my nose three times and it does tend to help me a little bit shift into a better, better feeling. So let's start with those three deep breaths. to set our timer so just hold on to that beautiful divine feeling of your dreams coming true let's go And that is it. Nice thing about that meditation for me personally is that like it makes those things more real. It makes me believe in that bliss more because sometimes I will catch myself like when things are going really, really good or I feel really, really happy and just things are great. I catch myself being like, okay, when, what's the catch here? Like, when is this going to go away? When is this going to be taken from me? Obviously those are like illogical, irrational, fear-based thoughts but I find that this meditation really anchors in the good feelings as being like a part of my life and just who I am and who I embody it just makes those good feelings more real and I appreciate that so thank you for doing that with me and let's get right into our video bye just a quick little reminder that all of these practices will come much more easily to you when you are taking good care of yourself remember to engage in healthy habits like eating clean meditating moving your body and staying hydrated When it comes to aligning with your dream life, your intention is everything. We are intending for things to happen on a daily basis, whether we know it or not. And this is just law of attraction 101. If you wake up and you're feeling crappy and you're feeling not great and you just like don't expect anything good to happen, you have already kind of set an intention to not feel good and not have good things happen. And in turn, you're going to be seeing that in your reality versus waking up in good spirits you know something wonderful is about to happen like I did this morning I intended to be in a flow state and although something that wasn't very fun happened because I had that intention I feel like 
it still was able to make this not so fun situation part of my flow state. And that's so powerful because we live in this 3D reality where shit happens, we have to do our taxes, we have to deal with grumpy, shitty people, sometimes more than we want to, right? So those things are gonna happen. We have the power to make those experiences and those people and those lower vibrations part of our flow state so we can maintain that high vibration. Yes, it is all about the intent. So those are kind of more subconscious intentions, right? Just like, again, law of attraction, basics, what you put out, you receive. But when you set a conscious intention and you are doing this in conjunction with your crystal, it is so powerful. As we know, our beautiful crystals are vibrating at these high harmonious frequencies. If we want to align with our greatest desires quicker, we should be using this to our benefit setting an intention with that crystal. Telling that crystal energetically that is going to set that intention in motion, put it out into the universe. The crystal is going to expedite the process and undoubtedly, undoubt, undoubtedly, how do you say that? Undoubtedly, 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 your manifestations will come into your life. Undoubtedly, because you are matching that frequency. That is a law. That is it. Your crystals are your best friends when it comes to manifesting. They are going to help you make this shit happen. So first things first, of course you are going to have to figure out what your intention is. It can be anything you want, it can be big, it can be small, it can be broad, it can be very, very specific, but whatever you are looking to intend for in this life, right? Maybe it is becoming a homeowner. I recently watched um, a video from one of my favorite YouTubers, Lior Alexandra, and she just recently became a homeowner, homeowner a homeowner in Sedona, Arizona, and she told her whole manifestation story, which was really, really inspiring and really cool. Maybe it's just simply becoming a happier person. That has kind of been one of my motivations this year, one of my intentions this year. It's just like resonating in that happiness frequency because for a long time, I just don't think I felt worthy of it. So anytime I did get happy, I felt like, uh, like I don't, that's just not right for me. And then I would tend to like somehow find some way to drag myself back down. This year, I don't want any more of that. I wanna be a happy person. I wanna be genuinely happy in life. And that is a perfectly beautiful intention to have. Maybe it's manifesting a vacation. We could all use a beach vacation right now, right? So whatever it is, that is going to be your intention. So once you have your intention, you are going to want to find a crystal that feels right to pair that intention with. It's going to be a beautiful conjunction, a beautiful magical relationship that the energy of your intention and the energy of your crystal have. As I always say, this is an intuitive practice process. So whatever crystal feels right to you, I believe that it really can be any crystal that you want it to be and that will do the trick just fine. Now that you have your intention and your crystal, it is time to set that intention. This video was kind of inspired by this idea I had recently to add pretty intention cards to your crystal packages. Um, if you are a crystal customer of mine and you've received a package lately, you probably have received these little cards and it's just a simple little card, a simple little way for you to write down your intention if you choose to on these cards. If you don't have one of those cards, of course that is perfectly okay. I actually did make a printout version on my website, which I will link down below in case you do wanna print out the same little intention cards I have in my packages, but of course you can use whatever piece of paper you have or whatever um, you have in your journal, whatever, it, whatever is fine. So this is when it is time to get very, very quiet, even if it's just for a few moments, even if you can find just a few little moments to be alone and get very quiet. This is a relationship between you and the universe. And in my opinion, that is one of the best ways to make it work is just really make it this 
focused relationship, this focused private relationship between you and source energy, the universe. As you get quiet, you can light a candle, you can play some nice music, kind of set the mood, set the tone, whatever gets you feeling nice and relaxed and have your crystal with you in your hand and you're going to write down your intention. You're going to want to just embody the feeling of what it would be like if you fully embodied this intention. So what would that look like? Feel it in your body, your soul, your heart. And go ahead and write down on your little card, I intend to. This means that you know in your soul that you're gonna make this happen, that the crystal is going to help you make this happen, that the universe is conspiring to make this happen for you. And then you are going to write your intention. I intend to be happier. I intend to travel. I intend to develop a better relationship and connection with my mother or my father. I intend to love myself more. I intend to make more money this year. I intend to feel better about my body in a bathing suit. Whatever it is, write it down and feel it as you are holding your crystal. I also think it would be nice to write down the crystal on the card as well and also perhaps the date so that when your intentions do manifest themselves you can look back on this card and it's just really nice when that happens. I love looking back at old journals and kind of like just seeing how far I've come. We have to remind ourselves of how far we have come sometimes so it's just kind of a cool little added thing to put the date on there as well. When you are done, I recommend putting this in a safe place, a place that is maybe sacred to you. I personally like putting this in my wallet because it's with me wherever I go and I feel like our wallets are very powerful places. So the intention card feels right for my wallet and that's just me so do what you will know now that your crystal is programmed with your divine intention and that is really all you have to do now you just kind of get to see the magic of the universe unfold for you it's a really magical beautiful thing when it does happen so that is it loves for this video i really hope you enjoyed it i really hope you got something out of it if you did please give this video a like comment down below let me know what your intention intention is maybe if it's not too personal if you have any other little intention setting rituals with your crystals as you probably already know I do my live crystal sales on Instagram every Sunday at 5 o'clock PST however tomorrow this Sunday I will not be doing one I'm actually working on my very first course it's going to be a course all about how you can start your own crystal business if that is something that your soul is calling you to do so I definitely want to give that my devotion my energy my love my attention as much as I possibly can and the live sales have been taking a lot of my time and energy oh so just for one week we're gonna pause the live sale of course follow me on Instagram I will be posting a lot of stories I do still have a lot of pieces from our clearance sale like this clear quartz cluster which was 195 she's 25 off and now she is 146 so I have a few pieces like this feel free to send me a DM if you are looking for anything in particular I've been showing off this beauty this Lemurian sir that is available she's just so beautiful and she is so much gorgeous energy in her and just absolutely love 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 also I am continuing to do my wonderlust Wednesday series on my IG TV and I posted one this afternoon about my spiritual awakening and how I believe that is what propelled my very first YouTube video to go viral and hit almost 50 million views and because of that the universe moved mountains and the video went viral. I cannot express how much I appreciate and love you and just 
enjoy you being here with me as I traverse this crazy life journey so without further ado cheers to you wherever you are when together i love you and i'll see you in my next video bye